8.15 a.m. this Saturday morning. These guys are like, well, <laughs> they're, they're out here waiting for me this morning. We had rain uh, overnight this morning. A little bit of thunder boomers. Come on, kittens. Come on, spirit. Come on, buddy. Very wet out here. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, is it wet out here. Feels like I'm walking through a tropical jungle, and let me tell you, uh, yeah, the humidity, the stickiness, the overall yuck. This morning is just, hi, kittens, hi, kittens. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, yeah, so surprising how, hi, buddy. Hi, my man. So surprising how these cats are really starting to take to me. Here we go. I don't know if we're expecting any more rain according to what little bit of forecast I've seen. Here we go, Sly. There you go. There you go, Bigby. Yep. Trying to split this all up so... So everybody gets their little little fair share here. All right, hi Mamba, here, here Mamba, come on. A little bit for you, yeah, we're having pancakes this morning. A little bit of mixture of pancakes, if you will. Um, we got some tuna fish and, and uh, yeah, buddy, I know, I know, buddy. Um, yeah, some. Uh, some cheesy pancakes with some uh, broth flavoring and and yeah um, okay so here we got evidence of <laughs> possum yeah we got us a big possum back here don't we and you know I have to say possums go ahead and eat buddy go ahead and eat uh, possums and cats actually get along quite well and I, I've, I've known this for many years because I've been dealing with cats for many, many years. Come on. And we got China here. Hi, China girl. Yep. And then squirrel. Let's see. Hi, squirrel. Yeah. Yep, there we go. See? That's three, four cats um, that I'm able to have contact with now. Right, China girl, huh? Yep. Yeah, you're such a pretty girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yep. Oh, oh, who's, who's, somebody's upset. Don't know who's growling or whining. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move out of the way. Doggone it. Well, we've had enough rain to where these guys have plenty of, well, so-called fresh water. Where are you going, Slash? Huh? What's the matter? Um, but I got some things on my mind that are kind of irritating me. Well, we got... A so-called holiday coming up. What a joke. When you actually, you know, realize that Independence Day didn't happen until the last signature on the Declaration of Independence, and that didn't happen until two years later, 1778 and not 1776. <laughs> and so right there, that, that, you know, that's a fabricated story as far as I'm concerned. The uh, price of gasoline out in California right now, $4.50 a gallon or something like that. Highway robbery. Um, many people, once again, taken to the skies, taken to the roads because of why they're programmed to do so through holidays. Very irritating. They keep trying to push these EVs on us, electric vehicles. So they come out with the e-bike, and right away I knew what was going to happen. 
just like anything else that comes out that has lithium batteries to it, they explode, they burn up, they get hot, they over get overheated. And they keep pushing this crap on us, this nonsense. It's not going to get any better. Technology is killing us. Technology is actually putting us in reverse mode. So they raised the, raise the prices of, of petrol, gasoline. I'm not sure about oil these days because I haven't drove in quite some time. Uh, parted with my vehicle a few years ago. Um, but what I am seeing is with this weather modification, and manipulation, terra reformation, um, what is happening is we are having these heat waves, these heat domes, the flooding, and of course, you know, it gets too unbearable with the heat and humidity. What do people first do? They start cranking on their AC, raising up their, their power uh, consumption. So there's a higher bill to be paid. More water is being used. Um, so your water bills go up if you have a water bill, right? Well, with them uh, sending so much money to these stupid battles overseas that we should have no business involved in whatsoever, what they are doing is fixing the consumer tables, if you will. They need money to really bring out the EVs. They're still using all this, you know, coal energy, fossil fuel uh, energy, whatever you want to call it, raising up the prices on it, making that much more difficult for out-of-pocket expenses inflation and all that money where's it going it's going to an EV fund while they're spending all this other money billions of dollars to these you know countries overseas so they got to make up the difference and this is where our taxes are going as well as you know a lot of other nonsensical priorities if you will This is, you know, you got to read between the lines as to what's going on when they are talking about energy. Now then, something else that is getting quite ridiculous is, once again, they're talking about that dang virus and how it's spreading. Yippee skippy, look out folks. Now, I have a question for anybody that actually put up with watching the that, that exhibition match between Biden and Trump the other night. Um, I, didn't, I didn't pay attention on, you know, what little glimpses that I caught of that nonsense. Uh, regurgitation, repetition of topics that's been going on for years and years now and never gets solved never goes nowhere it's utter ridiculousness you get tired of hearing it over and over and over but now you know even the democrat party freaked out so much apparently over joe biden's performance that they're asking him to step down or you know to leave his position oh but we need to find somebody to fill his position what Wait a minute. So now we got a guy that's a convicted felon that's still running for president, which under the three basic rules of being over the age of 30 or 35 or older, an American citizen and felony free, what's happening with that? Hmm. Okay. Joe Biden steps aside. Well, who fills his chair? Who goes into the Oval Office? Kamala Harris. Come on. There is no finding somebody else. No, that's how it's supposed to be. But what, are they changing the game plans again? 
Now then, during the time that Ob or that uh, I almost said O'Biden, <laughs> might as well say that. What the hell? Um, now I need you people to actually tell me if you actually watched this. Did Joe Biden actually start in talking about climate control? Not climate change anymore, not global warming, but climate control? Is it, is, can you, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but did he in fact bring up what we need to get, get a handle on climate control? Hmm, read between the lines there, people. Yeah. A lot of a lot of nonsense and, and then and once again they're talking about how tight this race is how many times have we seen this throughout the past years utter nonsense there's no way possible that that many people are voting for this buffoon joe biden again oh but he proved himself didn't he I mean, after all, after that debate, I guess he had to be escorted down the steps by his wife. You know, she, she's his handler. Supposedly Obama is his, you know, puppet master pulling the strings and whatnot. But, oh, there's so many more players involved. Come on. And, and I might as well go ahead and state this. So, let's go back to 9-11. They just came out with information that Saudi Arabia was, was involved in 9-11 attacks, right? Well, you know what? I know somebody. I came here from the Detroit area, and it was relayed to me that there's a certain store down there, uh, I believe just a, like a small convenience store that is uh, owned and operated by a Saudi, and which there is a picture hanging up within the store of one of the Saudi hijackers. It was his cousin, apparently. And he has this hanging up in his store in memoriam. I knew about this a year ago. <laughs> well, I guess. So it did, um, you know, these government officials. But, you know, Oh, it took a whole year for him to come out with that information that, oh, Saudi Arabia was involved. <laughs> uh, okay. And, you know, and, and me coming out with this information could probably put me in a, in a little bit of a bind. But, you know, I just don't care anymore. I got to come out with this information. I got to come out with what I feel is correct in my observations, with my experiences, my encounters. And I'm sharing, and that's all I'm doing, that's sharing. Hey, buddy, you're going to come up and see me before I go back in, because i, I got to get around and head out for a minute. Yeah. Now, the other day, this guy was feeling very feisty. I came out here with some treats for him, just some slices of cheese. Uh, some of these cats really love cheese. And... And sometimes he gets a little too antsy, and then he's wanting, you know, piece after piece after piece. And I got to make sure that I'm tearing the stuff up because cheese is notorious for choking animals, okay? doesn't matter if it's sliced cheese, block cheese. Um, you have to be careful if you are giving cheese to animals. Uh, there, there's a very awesome video out there somewhere. Oh, I'm, I'm getting... Yeah, we're getting rained on now. Yay. But anyways, there is a, a very good video out there about a couple of guys that had a raccoon in the back of their yard and they got a hold of a piece of cheese in the garbage and it was choking. And one of the guys runs right up to this wild raccoon, big fella too. Or maybe it was a female. And boy, she just listens to me so intently. But... Yeah, this guy comes running right up behind this rather large raccoon and starts patting it on the back, and which uh, uh, his 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 buddy or mate, whatever, um, you know, 
no, you got to hit it lower. You got to hit it lower. And so the guy starts in slapping the back of this raccoon a little bit lower down towards its hindquarters. And all of a sudden, it just hacks up all this yuck. And it was the cheese. And, and you know, saved the raccoon's life, if you will. Uh, wow. Incredible video. And, you know, you got to... These guys didn't have to do nothing. You know, a lot of people out there, they would just say, Oh, it's just a dirty, nasty raccoon. Let it choke. Let it die. <laughs> I'll skin it out later make a cap. A Daniel Boone coonskin cap. <laughs> well, uh, thankfully, that was not the case with this raccoon. And, and I do applaud those guys for what they did. Um, you know, that, that just really impressed me. What are you doing, Puff? Huh? Maybe you are not Puff. Maybe you are a reincarnation of somebody that I know. Hmm. Or didn't know. We're going to go into that story at some time. I, 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 I'm still having a hard time bringing that about because... It'll bring me to tears. Anyways, people, let me know if old Uncle Joe, Sleepy Joe, did in fact bring up climate control, okay? That is, that is my only request today. But on that note, I, I've, got, I've got some things to get done. I've got to get around, and well, we'll see you once again on this flip side at some point in time. Take care of one and all. Take care of each other. Because if you don't, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Karma sucks. <laughs> Take care. It's 8.35 a.m. And I am out here picking some of these berries. And, and I had forgotten to make mention uh, of something that I wanted to. Uh, but, okay, so, yeah third skies yuck 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 of course this is you know the rain making system here the perma cloud okay so I want to get back to uh, Independence Day and I've got a little bit of prediction okay um, I, I kind of am predicting that here in well in a year's time Oh, well, maybe, maybe two years, but I'm thinking more along the lines of about a year. Uh, us Americans will not be celebrating Independence Day anymore because AI will be so strong by that point in time, and it's going to be connected to so much. It's going to be unbelievable. And... We will be, of course, becoming dependent upon AI and that type of technology. So we will be celebrating Dependence Day rather than Independence. That is my prediction, okay? Um, well, there's been a lot, of, a lot of travels through here. You can see all the grass pushed down. Um, yeah, I guess some of these cats have actually been sleeping out here. A lot cooler, I guess, to be among the, these weeds and, and underneath and... Oh, yeah, boys. A lot of these little small ones out here, but... Yeah. Like I said, I've got I've got things to get done, so I'm attaching this clip to the previous, and once again, we'll see you all back here on the flip side. Take care.